Ferenc Krauss is one of the three scientists of the moment. On Tuesday, he celebrated winning the Nobel Prize for Physics, which he shares with Pierre Agostini and Anne Lulier. The trio were awarded for creating ultra-short pulses of light that can expose changes within atoms. This could potentially lead to better detection of diseases. Krauss, after being embraced by loved ones, said he did not expect the accolade. In the end, it is actually a very nice feeling to see that it was all worthwhile, not to get discouraged after the setbacks, but to continue on the path undeterred. And that is perhaps the most important lesson for me. Das ist vielleicht auch die wichtigste Lehre für mich daraus und das ist das auch, was ich sehr gerne auch den nächsten Generationen weitergebe. And that is also what I would like to pass on to the next generations. That if you believe in something and are convinced that this is the goal, the right thing to do, and that the questions you have asked yourself and would like to answer are the right questions, to then go on unwaveringly, to believe in it and not be discouraged by setbacks. Zu gehen, daran glauben und von Rückschlägen sich nichts entmutigen zu lassen. The Nobel Academy said their studies had given humanity new tools for exploring the movement of electrons inside atoms and molecules, a phenomenon that has long been thought impossible to trace. And unsurprisingly so, changes in electrons happen in a few tenths of an attosecond. That's a time measurement so short that there are as many attoseconds in one second as there have been seconds since the beginning of the universe. The findings have potential applications in many different areas, one being a new in vitro diagnostic technique to detect characteristic molecular traces of diseases in blood samples. Lulier, who heard she'd won the prize while giving a lecture, described the next half hour as a bit difficult. She is the fifth woman to win a Nobel Physics Prize. The three laureates will share the $1 million prize.